So if you want to learn more about 5G uh, and uh, you want to focus on the technical details of 5G, uh, the best place to visit is the 3GPP or the Third Generation Partnership Project. So the 3GPP, uh, they have their website. So that is uh, free. Uh, you can access the website for free, of course. And you can also download the specifications and the standards that you want to study, especially if you're working with the vendors or operators or suppliers. And then you want to uh, study the different protocols or the different standards and applications in 5G. You can just go to the 3GPP uh, website, okay? And then you can uh, browse, no? Yung kanilang website. You can see here, advanced plan for 5G. You can see here, what are the different plans. And by looking at this website as well, you can have an insight. What will happen? What might happen in the future? Um, tama ba yung mga pinagsasabi namin? Or are you in the right path in studying telecommunications? And what are the things that I need to learn to further adapt in the future? Okay, so if you look at the um, 5G uh, standards roadmap, uh, you can see a different release. Okay, so there's a release uh, 14, release 15, 16, 17, and 18. Release 15 is what we call the 5G phase one. So this is where the first 5G was uh, released. Okay, currently we are now in the release 17. And the release 18 is still ongoing. And the release 18 will call it the 5G Advance. Okay, 5G Advance. Okay, so you can see it in the timeline that as uh, the, the roadmap progress, no, it's going to what we call the 6G. No? Pero but the uh, 6G uh, roadmap still not uh, uh, standardized. You know? Pero it's uh, already in the, you know, in the plan. And we're expecting it to be... Um, um, what do you call this? Standardized by the start of 2028 to 2030. Okay, so you still have very long way to study uh, 5G right now. And uh, if you master 5G and then open run, and then when 6G comes in, you're prepared. Okay, just like uh, what we did in the LTE era. When we first heard the LTE, so we started to study LTE. And then, yeah, when LTE came, came here in the Philippines, we are ready. So we are equipped. And then when you want to explore opportunities abroad, um, the LTE that we studied here, the 5G that we have studied here, the open run that we've studied here are also applicable abroad. Okay? Okay. So now uh, let's uh, take a look at the... <clears throat> Um, different control, no? different, uh, different, uh, 5G, uh, different uh, architecture of the 5G system. So the 5G system architecture is uh, uh, divided into three major parts. So we have the 5G core network. Okay. So you, you still remember, no? Yung ating three main, uh, three main uh, parts of the wireless telecommunications. You have the core network, right? You have the RAN, right? And then you have the user terminals. Do you still remember this? I'll show the, the slider. This one. Right? You have the UT, you have the RAN, and then you have the core network. When we talk about 5G, it still follows the same concept. Okay? Nagbabago lang yung pangalan and functionality. Pero the, the concept is still the same. You have the core, you have the RAN, and then you have the user terminals. So the core will be called, uh, it's called the 5G core network, okay? Or the 5G CN. And then the RAN is, uh, can be a 3GPP next generation RAN or NG RAN, so as I mentioned earlier, or a non-3GPP access network. What does it mean? It could be a wireless local area network based on a Wi-Fi or a non-3GPP interworking function. You can connect it sa ating core network. And the NG RAN, maraming yun ito, no? marami siyang variations. Marami siyang combinations. So we have a different um, um, architecture uh, for 5G implementation. 
you have the standalone new radio, standalone long-term evolution, standalone base station using NR, and then the standalone base station, uh, and using LT as the anchor. And then you have the user equipment. So when we talk about this, uh, different, uh, different uh, options of deploying 5G, ito yung pinag-uusapan natin. So you can deploy 5G in different uh, scenarios. You can deploy uh, a standalone 5G and non-standalone 5G. You can also mix the combinations of LTE, NGRAN, and the LTE, EPC, and the 5G core. 